Damn, damn, damn. Shirt's sure on. Damn, damn, damn. I, damn. I, I'm just saying hot. Like, like hot. Let me say hot. Let me say. Which one? Top one? Or? The one that's fucking oh, there. There's not. There's, there's three of them. What did you do? <laughs> I didn't do shit. You handed it to him like that. It wasn't like that when I fucking handed you it. You must have hit the back button on accident. Your Our mother hit the back button on you. accident. Oh my god. Now it's gone. What did you do? I don't fucking do shit. You hit the back button. <laughs> I did not hit any buttons at all. You legitimately hit the back button. I grabbed your... You no, hit wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Finish that sentence carefully. What's up, guys? This is Friendly Fire Podcast number 35. Number 30. I said that word. You're dead. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm Logan. Hey, 35 is my It's a podcast! God damn it, Sean, you're late. Yeah, keep going, 35 is your number. 35 yeah. is my favorite number. All right. Why is it your favorite number? So this is my favorite podcast. Yeah. Well, you actually listen to that this That you time? don't listen to. Yeah. He, why, he, he's I'm here. here. Why do I need to <laughs> listen to the fucking podcast? So you can reminisce. God, fuck all Remember of you. Remember the conversation so the other day? Voices. That was great. Yeah. So, uh, but so yes. I'm Disco. I'm is this the Kevin Durant podcast? Thirty-five. Get out. Yeah. Why don't you just shut up? Face. You're not the real MVP. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Patrick. Okay. This I'm guy. Nate. I'm Sean. <laughs> Wait a second. Wow. 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 What what year is this? Sean. <laughs> This is a great start. Matt Damon. My name's Dude. I'm a Matt, Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. And there's one other person here. I'm Drew. <laughs> yes, Drew. You here. sure? Oh yeah. And there's no Josh. No, no Josh is gone and Fort Dodge. We are mustacheless. He's, he's fuck Josh's face. He got lost on the feeder road and he just couldn't find his way back. <laughs> he's, so. he's gone. He's in Fort Dodge yeah. and he didn't get the hell out of Dodge. He got so embarrassed I beat him in Rocket League in the last second. He couldn't oh. handle it anymore. He had to go all the way to Dodge, Kansas to escape. <laughs> to escape. Yep. Wait, he's in Dodge, Dodge Kansas. He's, he's in Fort. Fort he's in Fort Dodge, Dodge Iowa. Know. I didn't see one of those. True. Whatever. Some Is Do- there you're thinking a Dodge. Kansas? You're thinking of Dodge City. I'll bet you. Dodge City. I'll bet you. There's it's Dodge, Dodge City, Kansas. Kansas. There's a good bet. You should take that. Googling this. You should totally take that bet. I know. Well, welcome to a, welcome uh, to the Geography Podcast. I'll start. There's Go a, ahead, Pat. I'll say Dodge City. I know because there's an IBC Same location thing. there. You win. <laughs> Drew wins. No, that's not Dodge, Kansas. Logan Smith. He wins. No. Podcast there's no Dodge, the Kansas. There's Dodge City, Kansas, but there's no Dodge, Kansas. Pat, what ten you, you owe me a thousand dollars. Self-proclaimed. <laughs> Work on it. All right. Yes, Patrick. What have I been playing this week? I've been playing a lot of Witcher three. That sucks. A lot of Witcher three because Game of Thrones is over. Witcher. I really want some good fucking like hardcore myth- lore. That's Witcher. one. Witcher is good. You shut your goddamn. Mouth. I'm gonna, Witcher's I'm gonna, awesome. I'm gonna start keeping a count in this podcast. How many times you say hardcore? Oh yeah, we're doing the hardcore count. Again. <laughs> yes. The hardcore count. Hardcore. Give me a pencil. Somebody give me a pencil, please. Hearthstone. Hearthstone. Uh, I also good catch. Yes. I've been playing uh, since these fucks have been playing Diablo 3 on the okay. Xbox One. I've been playing Diablo I've been playing it on points. the PS3. Josh and Sean it on played it a little bit. Played what? Diablo Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I played it. I'm up, I'm up to level 16. Congratulations. Ooh. I'm level 60. Well, <laughs> fuck you then. I'll play Diablo tonight, actually. You should. Spoiler alert. Did I you have one? Diablo now. Oh, yeah. <sighs> You're all also, I was gonna Diablo say, Claws showed up for early Christmas. Can, can we just have a moment of silence for Diablo Claws? Is he dead? What happened? Is he having a moment of silence? Wait, because what it, happened? Because it was awesome. Is was there awesome. something that you guys aren't telling me? <laughs> Sean was Diablo Claws. Diablo Claws. Diablo Claws. He bought, Di- he bought right? literally everybody in this Drinking podcast is hard minus Patrick because he doesn't have an Xbox. <laughs> he didn't buy me. <laughs> you already had you it. Had because it. you have the game. So Everybody's just got to hold out and not buy something and then Sean buys it for you. <laughs> And so I just him down. You bought, uh, you bought uh, Jared Mine. No, you didn't buy Jared. Who did you buy Minecraft for? Me. Was it you? Yeah, he gave me a That's free copy of Minecraft. Minecraft. Didn't I buy it for you too? I bought Minecraft. <laughs> me and him went Played on a once spree. and never turned it back on. Yeah. Me, me and Sean went on a spree of buying each other games yep. for Steam sale. Hard <laughs> <laughs> really? drive space yeah. on that. Too? <laughs> That's awesome. I have three terabytes of hard drive. Understandable. Awesome. Anyway, me what too, else actually. have I been playing? Only three. Which are three? Okay. Like two point eight. You peasant. Diablo 3. Lots of 3s. 
The year of threes. Also, I've been playing... Half-Life 3 confirmed. Doken Battle. Like a mofo. Right. Damn straight. We Unusual. still we, we bring up mobile games in this you game. You know what? Give me your friend ID while we're talking about it. Oh, we should do that right now. Yeah. Get your phone out. No, my phone's charging. Anything else pat? No, no but that's it. That's actually all I've been playing. Actually, I did play a little bit of Street Fighter. Go get your phone. Sword of Thousand Truths. I can't leave the. the fans, you're you're the fans. Done. You, you said everything that you've played. Go get your phone. <laughs> what if I have witty comments? You don't. You could have witty comments. You could have witty comments. That's a funny guy. Worth. He's a pretty funny dude. Pat is pretty pretty good. Could you make more noise, Sean? Jesus, Jesus Christ. Jesus. I could. Jesus Christ. Uh, Worth what you playing. I was playing Diablo 3. Gay? No. no. Gay? Huh? Uh, I, I'm, only, I'm only at level 16, but I just got the game, so... I. But I, I got to that point in like four hours of playing, so I think that's pretty good. Four hours and you only hit 16? Yeah, you Shut up, Pat! You <laughs> suck pretty hard. <laughs> I remember when you were like, I need help with this boss. I laughed at you <laughs> because it was like I, I didn't I didn't get the, I didn't get to go through the first act. I got dropped into the second act with Josh right away. And, and this one comes like, in and fucking one shots the boss. Probably. I beat Diablo like it was fucking my job. Ugh. Diablo's a bitch. And you beat the game. <laughs> you beat. He was fucking this job. Yeah, beating Diablo all day long. No, uh, then I played. This is so much Diablo. <laughs> Um, then I played some Siege and uh, immediately, yeah. immediately rage quit. Like yeah. after like two matches, you saw my 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 freaking rant in the chat that one night, didn't you? Oh yeah, I was like, you were furious. I was like, I, I seriously like, if they don't fix the oh, fucking net code in this game, I will hilarious. burn Ubisoft to the goddamn ground. They made that a is lot of so stupid. They made a lot of improvements in Siege lately, yeah, but so like, but god damn it, dude! I still don't think the net codes. They're. It's how could I? How could I? How could I dump an entire clip onto one dude, and he just like randomly gets one like lucky shot? Are you like, on offense or defense? On defense. You were on defense. I was on defense. What did they do? So it was probably like you was know it a shield character. No, it was a shield character. I want to say it was probably it was they had a marksman rifle. So you should have recorded it. I like to see what I should have recorded it. Yeah, but God damn it! I I mean maybe it was just because I was drunk and I was mad because I was losing, but. Um, that happened too. So yeah, played Siege, played like two matches, and was like, "Fuck this, I'm done. This game is the most bullshit game ever." Even though it's really fun. Um, then I played Rocket League, and I finished the Doom campaign. Ooh. So um, recorded a little bit of that too. So look out for that coming soon. But yeah, Doom's fun as fuck. Like, have you guys have you played Doom yet, Logan? It's at all? I literally got it today, so, so I will soon. It's not it. the only thing coming soon. Coming soon. God, straight to DVD. Sit down. Why are you standing? I, <laughs> You're making me freaking me out, man. Because my fucking knee is at all me. times. I am coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> at all times. Do you have to? What do, the fuck? There actually is a. Does your fiance know this? There actually is a, is a disease that makes you do that, like some kind of condition. Oh like you just. God. Maybe you have that. Mother has a condition. <laughs> Spontaneous uh, orgasms. Yeah, but um, yeah, that's that about sounds all. awful. That sounds yeah. terrible. I don't want to have that. You're sitting in church and no. <laughs> Praise Jesus. Oh God. Okay. You're sitting at a playground. Oh, you, this well. is getting very very dark. Me and Chad are friends. Yeah, we're friends on Dragon Ball Z Doken Battle. Download it now for free. This this Friendly podcast this podcast brought to you by Doken Battle. <laughs> yeah, no, now we're flagged. That'd be sweet. Now we're fucking now flagged. flagged. No, not not really. Uh, Sean, what have you been playing? This, they would technically be sponsored by Bandai. Or whatever. Bandai. This podcast brought to you by Bandai. Would you stop it? <laughs> <laughs> we haven't gotten money yet. <laughs> I'm joking. Bandai. Sean, what have you been playing? Though, pay us some money. <laughs> what have I been playing? I've been playing Rocket League. And Minecraft on Windows 10. Because uh, realms. Man. I just lost all respect for you. Because no. things. Because <laughs> the stuff and things. Are because you play it on Windows 10, Logan? Uh, well, no. yeah, because it's going to be... Well, what? well, I could, but realms. I realms. Realms. Well, Once Realms comes to Xbox. Well, yeah, then it doesn't matter. You it actually whatever. makes the fucking game worth playing. Yeah. Now. Why? <laughs> <laughs> that is the most serious I've ever seen you play. Because Realms, goddammit, that's the only reason you True, what have you been playing? <laughs> Why? Why? Go to the topic, I don't want to talk about Minecraft anymore. <laughs> he just he just completely just gave up the rest of his talking about his games. I know, yeah. no, that's literally all I've played this week. Why? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm honestly questioning why. I did what play about Realms? other people being able to destroy whatever you make makes it better? You can have protection and... 
Minecraft now. But that way you don't have to be like I, if somebody hosts a map, you don't have to have that person online. Anybody can have access to that map at all times. That sounds like something that should have been implemented when the game was created. I fucking know. No one's arguing with you, but we're just saying that. It, I completely fucking then. agree. That should have been day yeah. one shit. A thing you can't deny: Minecraft is a billion dollar company. You know what I can't deny? Is, it's a company is though. That Legos have Squares. existed as long. Oh, I, no, I agree with you. I think Legos, Legos are fucking expensive. The Lego company did not make Minecraft. Legos so don't move up. on their own. They Legos are up. goddamn expensive, too. I feel like Lego could sue Minecraft and win. <laughs> <laughs> they I just don't. don't hold but because Lego hold already makes a fuckload of money. money. <laughs> they, I feel like they should have been the one to make that game. Like, how are they not the ones to make they, that? Because they're making Lego games. They're, they're making, making Lego, a shit ton of yeah, They're making Lego games. Making Lego Batman 187. I'm so. curious to Those see... Those games are fun as shit, though. Have I'm, you actually played any Lego games? They're fucking bad. Have, oh, they're fun as shit. I they're am pretty curious fun. They are really they're, fun. The Lego Star Wars games are actually They're pretty platform. Fun it's like Ratchet and Clank. It's Lego fucking Marvel fun. It's just fun. Yeah, Lego Marvel is really fun. I'm Lego curious, Jurassic Park is I'm, fun as fuck. I'm curious to see if the Lego Star Wars franchise has even come close to making enough money as Minecraft does. Well, I don't think there's any comparison there. Minecraft would have beat that by leaps, leaps and bounds. You yeah. see Star Wars? Across but other you're games. talking about one tiny segment of LEGO games. Yeah. So. If, you, if you put all the LEGO games together, then yeah. That's but, what I'm talking about. But if, it, but if, it's just, if it's just LEGO Star Wars versus Minecraft, LEGO Star Wars stands no chance. There's no way that it has made that that All as much the, money. I'm talking the Lego franchise. Okay, Lego because franchise. It, I know that's different. Collaboratively, I bet Minecraft has made way Kids more than the Lego franchise. You think so? Oh yeah, Microsoft bought it for like some billion dollars, and they said like they made their money back in like less than a week or something like that. I and, really want to see how much Lego's yeah. worth. See how much battery you had. Look up. Right, look up on that. Uh, uh, my yeah, phone. there you go. <laughs> look that up, Drew. Be our, be our news guy for the night. <laughs> well, okay. I'm just really curious. Hey, Lego. you know what? You know what Minecraft has over Legos? What? Never mind. I don't want to say it on the podcast. Just say it's it. It's pretty dark. You what can actually that? play with them? No, I was going to say uh, <laughs> no. nobody's uh, choked on Minecraft before. Oh, God. Legos are good. Though. Are you sure about that? <laughs> oh. If you think about it. I feel like I almost choked out of Take that out of the podcast. Play play the if you think about it. No children have died on Minecraft. Minecraft is a survival horror game. Yeah. No, I I bet some. I'm talking about. Okay, oh, yeah, okay. I'm done. I'm on, done. Top, <laughs> on topic. I bet some many Lego Star done? Wars franchise sells 30 oh. million. Well, not even close to Minecraft. February 2012. Okay. Did the game get released though? Hmm. Did the game get released during that time? I don't know. There's a new Lego Star Wars coming out though. I'm just I'm just saying. Yeah. This 2012, the, there was 30 million units sold. This brings up the next of all question. All Lego Star Wars. Nope, it beat Minecraft beats everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it does. There, Minecraft has sa- he, has sales of one hundred and six point eight six million units. So what does that convert to in like actual? Whatever, however figures. much Minecraft costs. Twenty bucks a pop times that. So there you go. Yeah, but I'm I'm talking purely units here. Okay. So <laughs> Lego Star Wars had thirty million units, right? So this brings up the next question. Um, how many times have you stepped on a Minecraft in the middle of the So mine, <laughs> Minecraft... <laughs> you said Minecraft That's has way 100 better. million units. That's what I had. Uh, over that. <laughs> okay, so oh, that was funny. Minecraft has sold three times as many as just Lego Star Wars. Okay. End um, of discussion, I guess. 106.86. Well, so basically a, what li- a little over one? three times. Uh, it's probably it's every, probably across it's the probably board. Every, it's across it the might board. be because Minecraft is on phones on well they have tablets two, they have on, two on they have two PC, release dates yeah. for it they have on, one from 2009 and one from 2011. Minecraft came out later than that because you got to think about the 360, the PS4. Um, I don't know when it came out on the Vita. Well, it came out on PC first, Ooh. didn't it? Yeah, but that would count one of those dates, I assume. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so like, there, you get more dates after. You got to think about you got to think about sales from all of those consoles. Well, and Minecraft platforms. has T-shirts. It has toys. It's got it a billion different ways you can license it. Minecraft, like Minecraft itself, is an entire brand. It's not just a game. Exactly. Yeah. Like yeah, so Star Wars though. So. Star Wars is a brand, but we're Lego talking about the Star Lego Wars series. Not, not Lego Star Wars. Oh, Lego, we're talking about Lego yeah. oh. games. Well, Lego, uh, Lego, Lego Star Wars series has sold 30 million units as of February 2012. So that was four years ago. Right. Lego Batman has 12.81 million units sold. Lego Batman 2 had 3.4 million. 
Lego Jurassic World had four million. And that's just those. So it doesn't include Lego Harry Potter and Lego fucking Marvel Schindler's that's List. That's just that's <laughs> one whoa, series. Whoa. Hey, I Lego's Hotel game. Rwanda. <laughs> yeah, Lego Star Wars series. Lego Cody. Three other Lego games. Game of Thrones. Lord of the Rings. Lego fucking Lego awesome. Game of that Thrones. That would be sweet. Oh Lego American History X. <laughs> <laughs> So the Lego stop curb stomping my Lego Legos. human centipede. <laughs> Shut up! Oh Whoa. Jesus! Lego Whoa. Star Wars series plus Lego Batman, Lego Batman Two, and Lego Jurassic World is fifty million units. Welcome to the Lego podcast. Yeah, we've talked about this for a long time. Yeah, why are we still on this topic? It's a it's an interesting topic. I guess, but this yeah. is Lego uh, versus Minecraft. I mean, obviously, is... Lego as a whole brand. It's a death battle. Is right. more, Lego as a whole I brand like see is more profitable than Minecraft. But as not, as a whole, yes, but like yeah, if you're, we'll if you're talking like long, straight, obviously. if you're talking straight, Think, okay, so, I'm not even talking about just pure Legos. Have you ever been to a toy store? Well, now? Are you talking about Lego the game property? You're talking no, about no, Legos no, no. as a company, the brand. The brand well, is fair because Legos have been around for a hundred years, whatever. So yeah. Uh, I, I'm just saying. I don't know about that's an exaggeration. Years. All right, I know I'm exaggerating. Even who, who, call, who called a thousand of us? God damn it, Worth! You're always correcting every <laughs> tiny fucking thing. I knew I was exaggerating. 19, I guarantee. 1932. Fuck you. Basically, well, 100 close years. to 100 years. years. Okay. I guarantee yeah. Lego video games have also sold more units than Minecraft. Maybe sold so. more units, but I bet they are not as profitable in terms of the brand as a whole. Lego's been around for 84 years. Basically, 100 years. Yeah. Fuck. Hundred. We're rounding up. Drew, what have you been playing? <laughs> Shutting this He's already down. been done. We're done. Did you this say is, what you were playing? Been, no. Okay. Uh, like I said, I've been going home on my lunch breaks at work to play old school games. Nice. And I spent a giant dedication of my time playing Earthworm Jim. Nice. Oops. Oh, that really? That hard, too. I yeah. love Earthworm That game is very hard. That was one of my favorite Sega Genesis games. I've been I playing that. It. And I've been playing uh, Witcher 3. Yeah. Which is mm-hmm. awesome. Just, I wanted to go on to that last topic. A hundred Lego has sold 150 million video game units. Woo! So, <coughs> 40, 40 million more than Minecraft. I don't know if what he's talking about is every unit sold. In terms he of said units sold. He said 106 <laughs> million units. <laughs> sources. What was that? What, definition? Because Minecraft, million they say, units. is a billion dollar... It is a billion dollars. No, no, it's more than a billion billion dollars. We're talking units. That's fair, but I mean, the bottom line is profit, regardless of units sold or whatever. So, well, I'm guaranteeing that this is. I mean, 150. They also are more than a billion dollars. Yeah. Oh, I believe it for Legos. Yeah, Legos is Werner is the one that does the Lego stuff. So, So, um, who's thinking about investing in Mega Block stock? (laughs) Nobody. (laughs) Dude, I think that company's (laughs) done. Burning Blood is already on sale. What's that? It's a One Piece game mm-hmm. for Xbox One. Already? There's yeah, a One Piece game for Xbox? Seven dollars off. There's a, a bunch of, of One Piece games. Come on, guys. Mega Blocks has Halo. And Naruto so Ultimate Ninja Storm that. 4 is $40 now. On Steam Chat? Uh, Ooh, you no, want to know. Console. Moving on from the Lego Minecraft discussion, you want to know what other companies made a shit ton of money recently? What? All of them. Logan can bring up this topic. If it gets off its fucking Ooh, phone! No, I, you're, talking about, about you're talking about Microsoft? Yes. Yeah. Well, I'll get to that in a minute. Drew, still talking Remember when I games. was playing games? You remember no. when he was in games? Like Earthworm, Earthworm Jim and... Uh, Earthworm Jim, Witcher 3. What was that Lion game that we played? And I've been playing a lot. I, I've been playing Hearthstone every day. <laughs> I just want to see it. Have you really? Yeah. Get back into it, or... Does it hurt yourself to play it? No, it's not that bad game. It hasn't been as bad for RNG lately. I feel like most of the stuff that I've lost to is because I've had that either bad draws or, I don't know. It, it, it so has less been, RNG? Less RNG okay. than usual. Well, RNG. that's good then, right? That's, that's a step in the right direction. I mean, you, st- you still have RNG cards, but it, yeah. it feels like the the end decision of my games haven't come down to an RNG factor. It's dependent on what I've played, where on the board I've played it, Stuff like that. Well, that's good then. Like my own determination. What are you playing right now? Yeah. What's your main deck? Uh, I play Zulok. He always you plays still do Zulok. Zulok. I was gonna say, has he changed yet? No, it's Zulok. It's because Lock is. The I shit. still don't have any Doom guards yet. 
I've been playing this game so long, and I still don't have Doom Guards. Not one. I don't have one Doom Guards. I know. I is know it still Doom relevant Guards. in the? Yes. Zool? Is it really? It's you. It's, it's a must still, have in lock decks. It's a must have. To this day. Yes. That's weird. It's a good card. Well, I know it's a good card. I'm just saying. I figured maybe after all the expansions and everything that's been coming out, there'd be yeah. something that would still take good. its place. No. Yeah. Who knows? Give me your phone. No. <laughs> Give me your phone. I'm no. Make you lock deck right now. I don't have a Doom Guard. <laughs> Give me. <laughs> Is that all Drew? Yes, mm -hmm. that's all I've been playing. Logan. I played a lot of Siege lately. I, don't, I just go in random spurts of Siege. It's amazing. Um, <laughs> I played a little bit of ESO, just a little bit. Finish, I think I said finish the Thieves Guild last week. Yeah. Right? yeah okay. So just, I started to do a little bit more of the main quest stuff. Kind of the main, like... Not You're the main trouble trouble doing your ESO Plus. Well, the ESO Plus seemed to have, like, like, cut out for a second or something. Like, it wasn't... Did you get a back finals? I emailed them about it. They they said uh, again their help desk being awesome. They gave me some like suggestions. I just haven't taken the time to like try no, okay. them yet. So I could get on tonight. It could be working again. So um, played a little bit of that. I played uh, what else did I play? Rocket League. Rocket League. Box Rocket yeah, League. Yeah, I played Rocket League with those. Obviously. So yeah, me and Worth actually were playing a ranked match with uh, Sean, and Sean had to leave abruptly, and we won by like two, four points. Two v three. We crushed them. It was ridiculous. Yeah. So that was a good match. Um. <laughs> What else was there? I played one other thing. What? Oh, I played some Division a little bit. Just yeah. a little bit, so. Did they... Okay, so... Did you get the DLC that just came out? I mean, out? I had the season pass, but I haven't played since it was released. But that was, like, yesterday or two days ago. Okay. So I've yet to try it with the DLC, so maybe this weekend I think I'm going to try to get back on that. Yeah. Um, but a little bit of news, kind of randomly, is that apparently Microsoft has sold one million Elite controllers. A million? A million elite controllers. Since when? Since, since, they, they, were since released. they released. Yeah. That's a lot of fucking elite controllers. $150 a pop. Yeah, $150 each per controller. That is not a small number. <laughs> People have dropped $150 for a controller. I was one of them. I bought one. But it's worth it, though. I, I love it. One. I love it. Sean has an I have one. I love it. I have it. a broken one. Yeah, you do. Sean. How did you break it? It's just LB buttons. Those paddles, yeah. man, I, I accidentally yeah. click them all the time. Once you I'm get thinking. used to it, it, it fits perfectly in your hands. No, so I mean, I'm just trying to watch, like, Netflix, and I'm like, stop moving, yeah. God. I just take them off. I just take them off and put oh, them yeah. on the counter, and so it's super easy to move, yeah. so. That is a lot of fucking Elite controllers, though. I was surprised that was the number already, but I figured that. Are you guys going to still get your custom color? Probably color? eventually. Oh, of course. Yeah. yeah. Just like kind of. Your fucking name on it and everything. I was trying to think about, yeah, getting That's pretty the sweet, FFG man. game yeah, tag. And the suck it, Sony. Just kidding. Okay, that's a good second. I'm kind of hoping they get a few more customizations because there was a few things I was a little disappointed with, like the thumbsticks. There's not very many options for the thumbstick colors, and it'd be cool to see them the, broaden those um, a little bit. The back and or the menu and the what do they call those buttons? Menu and menu and share store, share button. Well, on the PlayStation, it's like the share. It's pretty much like the broadcast. Well, there's the menu Stream, and share, the back button or something. I don't know what the fuck they are, but menu and title. I think I fuck if I know. Those back there's or not very many. Start uh, and menu or menu and something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. there's not very many customization options for those things, and that's a little disappointing. And I hope they fix that. Eh, I mean, I could, I could live without that. I the don't think the it's, controller it's I pain. designed the, on E3, we were all doing it on our phones. Designing right. Games. The one I made, I loved. I thought it was. Fucking awesome. See, like, I just more the, options would be cool. The Absolutely. thumbstick, the, the one thing that I mostly think was disappointed with, with was that there wasn't very many options for thumbstick customization. Yeah. There was like four, four or five colors. So would you want like? Really? Would you want them to be of all more... the colors that they designed with the controller? You think you could do? Yeah, there was only like black. You think that has to do with gray. it being a hard plastic compared to like? I mean, it's a well, hard it's, plastic, it's, but it's more like a softer. It's like a composite material. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I don't know. You think that's the reason why? I don't know what their reason is. Considering I've seen an R two D two that can chew projection screen and play Xbox and PS four. There's an R two D two shower head. Uh, well, we're, right. I mean, we're done. Podcast is done. <laughs> There's I'll also a it. Darth Vader one where the water comes out of his eyes. <laughs> I think I thought it would come out of like his like his like his face mask, like his. He's mouth. got a breather. Yeah, like his breather. His eyes. <laughs> I don't know. So I think that's all I was playing this week. I just played a lot of Rocket League, more like a lot of Siege. Yeah. So, Disco. Yeah. What have you been playing? Uh, I didn't play a whole lot this week. Dokken Battle. Dokken Battle. Um, I played 
this, I guess I haven't been here for a few weeks, so I can talk about a couple things I played. I played the Halo Wars 2 beta. And? Um, I thought it was decent. I think there's a little bit too much of an emphasis on the commander powers, and they might need to tweak that because some of there was one that like drops two ODST squads, two scorpions, and two cyclops or some shit like that, which is just ridiculously overpowered because you can drop them anywhere you can see on the map. But the game gameplay wise and like resource building and all that, it's pretty well balanced. Um, you can kind of choose a path that you want to take. Like if you want to go more vehicle based, you could really make a lot of vehicles. If you want to go more aerial based, you can make aerial vehicles. If you wanted to go ground based, you can make a lot of infantry. Uh, you also have hero units and things like that. Um, the one Spartan that they had, I think, was like Jerome or something like that. Jerome. <laughs> Jerome. <laughs> Jerome the Spartan. But, uh... <laughs> Damn it, Jerome! God damn it, Bill. <laughs> it was a decent it was a decent beta, had some connection issues. A lot of times the games that I had weren't all four players. It was like two v one a lot of times. How do you put out a fire? You stop playing the mixtape. Shut up, Jerome. <laughs> Crazy. But uh The beta was decent. I think it could be a good game. They still obviously have like it's eight, it's eight months, months out. of development yeah. time. So. Is this the RTS one? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's um, console. I'm just excited to see what it becomes eventually. The first game. Hopefully, got, there's a, another beta. <laughs> I played RTSs, but got, I can't understand. They got like the first Halo Wars got really high praise on being on a console. Yeah. The controls they said were like just perfect. They couldn't be better for a console. It was a lot so, of people really liked the game. People have that first impression of it's on a console. Oh my god! But just try it. Well, no, that's the way. I mean, I played Diablo mm-hmm. on PC first it's before not I played RTS. Though it's not RTS, but I'm agreeing with your point to where I played Diablo on PC. Oh, I see what you're saying. Instead okay. of holding right click the entire time and getting carpal tunnel <laughs> and having to click to do my abilities, I started I played it on console and I go, this is so much fucking better <laughs> like for this style of game. That makes sense. Because then I'm sitting there just like click 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 or holding up with my finger the whole time with my hands stressed out. It's like, oh, I'm just moving my thumb. I yeah, think it was easy, like man. Red Dead Redemption where you had to tap A to make your horse like sprint. I'm like, oh god, you gotta <laughs> this do hurts it. so much. You gotta World do of Warcraft gave me carbon tunnel. You gotta do WSAD, that WSAD, that's all I'll say. Yeah. WSAD won't fuck you or You gotta do that with like with GTA also to make your character sprint and stuff. Yeah, the same thing with sprint. I'm like, yeah. this is that's, not worth it. That's, that's a com- I'm just gonna walk. That's a I common Rockstar mechanic oh, though. God. Like that's that's in a lot of Rockstar, get your shit together, right? Give us just a sprint. That's like That's been since like stick like a fucking FPS and we'll go from there. That's been since like GTA 3. Well, they need to figure it out. They need to but I like figure the, out. Um, I like the, the D-pad uh, commands in Halo Wars 2. Like you can, you can transfer between bases quickly with the D-pad. Um, you can transfer between units quickly with the D-pad. Um, I wish it was a little bit more customizable which it might be to be honest. Yeah, I may just not have known. But turned out to be a pretty decent beta. Um, they change the game type up every couple of days or something like that. But decent. Hmm. And then I played some Rocket League. They they reset the season, so I've been playing a little bit of Rocket League. Uh, what? The Game of Thrones thing. Oh, yeah, it's too much noise. Noise. I think it. we're okay. Shut I wouldn't take it from him. He's too much noise. Uh... <laughs> What else is there? I played a lot of Diablo three. Yeah, I beat Act four level today. fucking I'm 60. level sixty. Jesus, what's Christ the cap on that game? Seventy. Seventy. Oh, okay. okay. Technically, oh, um, I actually might be sixty one. I don't know. Technically, I, I you actually start getting uh, to the higher difficulties, and then you really start like once you beat Act four and you have a decent amount of legendary gear, you can up the difficulty to master, which I did today. Yeah, but there's so. more beyond master. No, I know there's. Crap ton of difficulties. There is master. ridiculous difficulties. Like there's in like Diablo. fifteen difficulties beyond master. <laughs> but the thing that I I'm just, I was happy to finally go up past expert because expert was way too easy. I could just murder everything. I came up to a boss fight and I just sat back and owned the boss alone. As a I wasn't even a tank character. I was just a character. Well, you need to be more challenging. Than I did. Uh, I did so. forget. I did forget one game that I started playing this week. Um, Hello Kitty's. I also forgot Witcher. one too. Um, I started The Witcher. No, started The Witcher. Yeah, okay, good. Started, good. Didn't get very far. Um, well, I also started playing WoW. 
What? Yeah. Why? Oh, look at you! <laughs> bam, 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 bam. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so it's so fucking you. random. Let's go. Yeah, I'll start up again. To play. I and we're like, why didn't you tell hold us on, so we could do the goddamn on, friend scroll bullshit? Yeah, the scroll important. resurrection. Yeah. The important question: Horde or Alliance? Horde. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, thank God, Horde. Yeah. What? Uh, what shut up, Pat. What race? I have a Horde character. I made a Blood Elf <laughs> Warlock. So I played way before these guys. Fuck you yeah, that's what I got, started dude, the that's game. That's my main. Yeah. Why the fuck yeah? Really well, Everybody go. always picks Blood Elf first. Always. Yeah. Well, I, I was torn between that and a Torin. I dude. thought I thought doing a Torin Paladin might be might that's be kind of cool. That's what I did. First. Undead all the way. They have the best racials. See, I did undead I, mage. Get out of jail free card. I and oh, by the way, I can breathe underwater for fucking ever. Yeah. So yeah, I, I was torn between that or a Torin Paladin because I thought that might be kind of cool too. Um, but maybe I might go back and try uh, try both characters. But, but why WoW though? You didn't answer. Why did you start trying WoW? I I, I was given game. I was given a passcode and to like try the game and I'm like, okay, sure. I'll <laughs> you do not. Know Are you still doing the started. free trial right now? Then so you I'm in the free trial. I, I, no, no, no. I have like I I have not even like Good. done. I have like done. I did my first quest and that was it. Like yeah. I'm not far at all. Oh. Yeah, but. I you can get to level twenty in that game in like two hours now. I know, <laughs> yeah, stupid. it's ridiculous. Like back in the day, it used to take it a little forever. while to get to level twenty. I'm like, now I might you can just like play it and be like, "Oh man, I finished the main like little small area and I'm level twelve already." <laughs> I might I might just milk the free trial for all for all it's worth and then just like try all the races. There's no milking. It's just get to level twenty. You can't trade with anybody. You can't join a guild. You can't. You can legitimately buy like the first four expansions for like thirty dollars. Yeah. Not even that. They're it's fucking. cheaper than that. It's like twenty bucks to get like almost anything. You can to the get, internet. You can oh. get all the way up to Pandaria for probably forty bucks. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, what, what's it on? What's it on now? It's War, what, Warlords of Draenor. Draenor. Is Draenor. Is Draenor. 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 Legion is, is, is the next one coming out. out? Or yeah. is no, Legion. Legion's, Legion's the new one. That's coming out in like November, October. That's that's the one. That's they always come out like right before December. That is probably when I will get sucked back in. Yep. Me too. You said you would never play it again. You are a liar. I it's am a liar. fucking liar. Legion looks fucking sweet, dude. Uh, Get those crazy legendary weapons. I thought Diablo that was your game you're going to play yeah. forever. Hey, Logan, well, like, I, I, this is time to get back in. I'm not now, playing now, Let's go. It's like, I'm not It's like now I have a fucking problem, because now I have to play The Witcher, i got to play Diablo 3, and i got to play fucking you understand? You understand? Handle more Warcraft now. Like, like, now. Do you understand if we all played WoW, if all seven of us played WoW, we damn near have a fucking ten-man raid group. Yep, and we could wreck that shit. And we could have Steph and Dan join in, and we have nine, nine people. God, dude, we right? just get one nine out deck. of a ten man designated deck. healer <laughs> right here. Designated and, healer. And, and I'm the healer. healer. It looks like well, you can get the, we need two healers for a ten man group. Right. It looks and like you can get Pandaria for twenty. Well, I get a tank healer. And up to Pandaria for twenty. That's fine. Up we to Pandaria for twenty bucks. When you I'm better tank oh, you shut up. You when you pre-order True. Legion, Sorry. you get a free one hundred yep. character. Free level 100. So basically... Max level, by the way. You get to start where the new content starts. Or no, wait. Is is 100 a max yes. level? Yes. 100 yeah. is at the end they of the The new one is, yeah. Um, well, doesn't that like piss a lot of people off, though? Like, you know, no! Oh, you didn't fucking no. work for that. Well, no. it's, a, it's a double-edged sword. It's like, yes, I'm at the max, but if you've never you played no the game before, gear. you have no fucking yeah, You have no idea what you're doing. But that's what Blizzard what does good, though, is that they acclimate you to the game even though you haven't played it before. Well, they do, yeah. You get a free character. And they bring out, like, the videos 100. on YouTube. It's like, here's how you play it. World. They also have new things where you can go God, through, like, stop. a training program. Mm. Yeah. 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 What? 20 bucks gets you up to Pandaria. Damn. 20 bucks? 20 bucks. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Yeah, we're, That's almost they're... the entire game for 20 bucks. <laughs> what have I done? Dude, it's worth it. What have I done? It's worth it. Yeah. How much time and we when get? you get to Pandaria, you get a free level 90. Hey, worth. What? It's worth it. It's worth it. Ha. Ha. Make a panda. Ha. I Make a panda have to with play us. Elder Scrolls Online. So. No, you must play Skyrim. Yeah. Not even remotely as good. It's, I mean, that's it, fine, but I got so bored of WoW so quickly. It's because you didn't play with anybody. You didn't play <laughs> with care. anyone, and you weren't even max level. I don't so care. You didn't the grind was not fun. worth it. I don't care. You're there. You don't even I have to grind anymore. I couldn't do it. Gold. Items. ISO is so much. The Change. combat shot was way more fun. It's like. I, like the, I won't uh, deny that certain parts of the combat of ESO are better. Wait, like, yes. that, I think that twenty the bucks sword and shield Warlords. combat is really the only thing, though, because everything else Warlords? about it is pretty much the same. Well, I mean, I remember they, playing WoW. I remember doing not raids, but just dungeons. Legions. I guess with you guys, I did some stuff with you guys, Legions. and it was just like click whatever the commands are. Was yeah, but that's keys. all ESO is minus the fact that you there's, can dodge back. And there's forward. a dodge. Well, yeah. and that's. 
to, to me, my wow, you have to still strategize. Well, I will say, wow, 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 technically, wow has dodges. There's yeah. uh, teleports, teleport. blinks, and shit like that. Yeah. Just yeah, in my by the in mage. my like limited experience in wow, it just seemed like it was so just like paladin puts the bubble on and just click, puts away for click, a click. There's nothing to it. And, Once and you ESO, you have to do like, to, you ESO is much more. And, it was more dynamic to me. Like, much more engaged. It's faster pace. Thing, so it's faster pace. It's just yeah. my experience. But when he hits a raids, now what he's saying is like, oh, you, oh the boss crazy. is doing this, and you're like, back up. You have to heal. You have to like sit there and take a certain amount of something. Like, yeah, there's, there's parts where like, if you don't stand in this exact spot, you're dead, and everyone is going to hate your fucking face. <laughs> That's if you're a healer, though, right? You no, can, no, not even that. DPS or worse. You can be a DPS player and go stand in the wrong spot and get. Insta killed Don't by an ability that does like seven billion health, and, what, <laughs> and because that DPS is gone, because we can't you're finish gone. Time. Now you don't have enough DPS to kill the boss before oh, he rages, and yeah. then once he rages, everybody is dead. That's very specific. <laughs> no, there's a lot. There's a lot of bosses who get like a ten minute rage period. It's like if you don't kill the boss within ten minutes, guess he's what? Gonna he's fuck gonna fuck everybody up. Quickly. Quickly. quickly, he's going to kill everyone very quickly. Half the time, healers and tanks are on their shit, too. It's not, this is not DPS, but half the time, it's DPS that fuck shit up. Most Don't worry, I've done, I've fucked shit up before, being a healer. Good job, Pat. I have. No, seriously. Everyone but fucks up sometimes. healers and tanks have to, like, you're, those are the two most, that's why I like healer, because I'm always useful. Is a 10-man raid the highest raid you can 25. Do? No, 25 is the highest. No, well, they have, they have the used one to be 40. can have as many. Like shaking original, shaking. original WoW was 40-man raids. No. Jesus. Can you imagine oh, getting yeah, 40 they, people well, together in one night and being like, Hey, guess what? This is gonna take six hours. All forty of us have to be online at the same time. What you're talking this. about is you can have up to that's twenty-five. Been five that's any, that's the original old school. Wow. Yeah. They don't have forty-man raids anymore. Yeah. No, that was gone in a Burning Crusade. Yeah. They get rid of it right away. They're like, "Fuck, forty-man." They do have world bosses that you can fight with as many other people as you want, and they're usually very hard. Yeah, so kind of has. No, they do that too. Yeah. Yeah, but like you will never bosses. see more than thirty people in. Okay. Area. I still miss Neverwinter. Do, 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 do. Ten if you're in a town, you can see more than 30 people in ESO. Some yeah, but if you're in a... Like, okay, packed. so think of the very beginning area where you have to go fight the, the dolder like, or whatever it is. Uh, yeah. What's the most people you've ever seen there? Like 30? Well, I, I've never counted, but if you're in a certain certain town, town, certain main cities... Um, this, Goldshire. The city all itself. I'm talking Goldshire about the combat. Stormwind. Well, yeah, I mean, that's not... Oh, and those are also mega servers. That might be different than ES... Or not ESO, and then WoW. Because WoW, doesn't they have, like, a bunch of servers? And you pick one? Yeah, you pick a server. ESO, yeah, you pick a server. mega server. So every person is at any place in the game. So it might be a little more sparse because... It's so spread out instead of like focusing in. Now, and how many people are in Orgrimmar at once? But you uh, have a cap on the tons. WoW servers, right? Certain servers can't hit capacity. It, yeah, there's, it's, high, there's high population servers and medium population. Yeah, servers. they. But the the thing is, is once a server's at capacity, you just can't be on the server. Well, exactly. That's what I'm saying. ESO, there's like I guess unlimited because it's just like going back to the entire raids, world is that big. So. There are ten to thirty player flex. That's what it's called. Oh, they have up to thirty. LFR twenty five player and yeah. mythic twenty player raids. Oh, they added twenty player raids, huh? Mythic. I think yeah, that's, that's hardcore. Damn, that'd be pretty fun. Highest difficulty. I I've just, never done a highest difficulty raid because I've never had a raid group. I did a, a what the fuck is the one with the the thunder thunder one on the Isle of Giant or Isle of Thunder. Isle of Thunder. I just, I started that one on the Heroic. Thunder King. Yeah, I've done it. I've done it on normal. What what's the, what's that fucking. Uh, Triceratops is name. Uh, I did normal yeah. on Thunder King. Uh, it's the uh, first boss. I never got to a made, fucking... Yeah. Wait. Pause. Yeah. yeah, the Triceratops was pretty cool. and or It was an interesting fight. Lots of lightning. And there was a... <laughs> Horridon. Yeah, there was like a... You remember the Undasta uh, fucking raids and shit? Oh. Fuck. You guys, you wow nothing. raids are yes. really fun because they throw in so much shit that everybody has. God to damn it! My account has Draenor on it. I have Draenor. Oh, too, so. I have Draenor. So is that mean you're gonna start playing again? No, well, not. I need a laptop thing to play right now. Hmm. Is ninety five the highest you can get in Draenor? Hundred, no, hundred, hundred, hundred yep. is Draenor. One ten is gonna be Legion. Really? They're adding ten more again, huh? You get legendary weapons too. Did you see that shit? 
Well, there's legendary weapons in all of them. This is a different type of legendary weapon. So, it's going to be... A, it's different! It, no, it's going to be a main quest that you do the entire time you play Legion when you go from 100 to 110. So, if, like, I play a Paladin on the, on the Alliance. Alliance sucks. So, I will get the Ashbringer. <laughs> but I get, like, the not true Ashbringer. And as you play it and you beat, like, you know, instance bosses and stuff, you can power it up and get it better and you can, like, change the... Like what it looks like and everything, but the whole point is at the end of the game, everyone will have this very unique, based off your play style, what class you are, not what class, what uh, talent spec you are, all that stuff, and what you, your legendary weapon. But it's not that unique. I stop. Technically, there's like there's twenty different ways to customize it. Okay, that's not bad. Though. I stopped twenty different playing, ways is pretty cool. I stopped playing doing. WoW two years ago. I mean, there's only like five so different like visual things, but when it comes to stat wise, yeah, you can like play around with it a bunch. Oh well, stats that you can play with them around with anything on stats. That's yeah. what that's what. Uh, like with the uh, Ashbringer, you can make it look like the plague one from Wrath of the King, where it was fucked up, or you do the regular one, was. or the fire one, or. Yeah, you, I'm probably going to get back into WoW in November, and I'm going to hate myself, and <laughs> Brandy's going to hate my face. Landy's, <laughs> Landy's crying! Hang on, I'm in the middle of a raid boss! I can't pause this I'm a healer! If you're playing WoW, you don't understand! If you're playing WoW, you have to have those times be like, you're off parent duty. Like, Dude, I had parent, to yell at my parents not for a while. Right? My mom's like, I need your help, hang on. I'm like, I can't pause <laughs> this game, Mom. I know it's hard to understand, but I can't pause this game. Pause your Nintendo and come help me. <laughs> my, no, I can't. <laughs> It's crazy. I stopped playing WoW two years ago next month. Wow. That's when my last subscription... It's been, it's been about a year since I played. 2013. I, I have so much I gold. Playing. I, I know so it was very much gold. I started... Uh, I think I'm at like 185. January 21st, 2013 is when I started. Stop playing. My playtime's <laughs> ridiculous on my main Yeah, game. you know what, motherfucker? Sean, we started playing together, and you're like, yeah, we'll level together, and then you leveled way higher than me. <laughs> <and> <laughs> everything. He does that all the time, He's though. the biggest reason I stopped playing WoW. Good so job. Like, I'm bored playing by myself. Fuck hey, you. Hey, I'll I'm start a character game. with you, so, because... No, I'm not playing WoW. Come on. ESO plus. Come on, buddy. Or plus, this is for ESO. You can do it. No, nope, yeah, I have so. the digital deluxe edition. Play a sweet. We'll both be pandas. Let's play panda. I like being a hunter because then you had your pet with you and it would draw aggro. And I was like, I gotta do shit. This is awesome. That's a hunter lock. Why? Because you can drop a pet. That was fun. I did you can like drop that. any. Pet. I did like having a pet. Like you do all the shit for me. Okay. I'm just gonna fuck shit up back. I'll play here. paladin. That's my play style. I'll run in and games. fucking beat like, the shit out of stuff. Distraction. Because I can heal myself, so I never die. I'm a priest. I might Death maybe I might maybe make a, make a blood off rogue. I don't know. Like rogue seems rogue kind of like is too. probably one of the tougher classes to play in that game. Really? You got to be on top of your micromanaging on your skills. And God shit. damn. Okay, I guess. Well, you got to like stealth out of certain things. Like, if I were to say one of the easiest classes to play in WoW is like warlock, hunter. Um, I feel like everybody plays be. a warlock though. No, no, I do. Really? Huh? A lot of people I like hybrid those. classes. I like classes where I'm able to do anything. So I can DPS, heal, or tank. So Paladin's one. Druid is one. God damn it, Sean. Make a noise! Step on everything, Sean. Druid, Why are you doing this? Druid's really fun. You can you can be bear form and taking a lot of damage. You can be in cat form and be all stealthy, kind of like a rogue. Or you can be in moonkin form and do like mage stuff. Or you can be in tree form and heal. I mean, they're super hybrid class. Um, Shaman is kind of hybrid E class, I guess you could say. We've been talking a lot about WoW tonight. Yeah, no. Yeah, this so. is kind of surprising. This is what happens so. when. <laughs> God damn it. See, <laughs> what, what, I love MMOs. Legion, what, what have I done? I do. I love MMOs. And not uh, just regular ones, like Borderlands, like any MMO. That's not an MMO. Stuff. It's not an MMO. Sorry, it's not an MMO, but it has MMO features it's to where. It's an open where world. It's, it's not an MMO. MMO. Because the key. The key Fuck point you. of MMO Fuck is you. massive Fuck multiplayer. You. I'm not calling it online. MMO. My game subscription saying, uh, expired in January of this year. It is an RPG that is a first-person shooter. I understand that. I'm saying that they borrowed the loot system from MMOs, which is what pulls people in because it's yes. constant and constant reward. Yes. Same thing with Diablo. Diablo is just constant reward. It's like, oh, look, we killed like 15 million things and I have all... This awesome loot. The legendary drops in Diablo are ridiculous. It's like they changed wow. it though. Wow. That's why they got rid of the auction house, and they were like, "Fuck that! Let's just make the looting system better." Yeah, Wow was like, "Oh, you got to work really hard for legendaries." So Diablo's like, "Here's twenty legendaries. <laughs> <laughs> just buy, Ooh. just buy your stuff for me." Oh, you shouldn't have. 
But uh, I don't know. Maybe we should actually get into the topics there for tonight. That was a topic. News things. We're good. <laughs> Pokemon Sun and Moon. Yeah. We actually have news this week. We have some Pokemon fans in here, right? Of course. So um, I saw the starters. Seven of them, right? Seven? No, 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 no. three starters. starters. These are seven Pokemon. Starters, Pokemon starters is the wrong word. Like, they, like they showed seven new Pokemon. The Pokemon, Pokemon that you see too. early on in the game, right? Yeah, yeah. They showed. They the... didn't necessarily say that they were Pokemon you saw early on in the game. They just said that they were the first seven leaked Pokemon. Yeah. They showed the starters though. Did you see the picture of? Well, the start. We talked about the starters. Yeah, starters. starters. Yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah. garbage. I know. The starters. So the starters are awesome, except for that dolphin seal thing. I'm a clown seal. I'm a clown seal dog. The the flying. Grass type looks fucking cool. I'm excited for that Pokemon. Is that what you're gonna pick? You're gonna pick grass? I don't pick, have an you owl. pick Bulbasaur? I don't have an owl. Owl something? Owl, owlet? Something. Rowlet? Rowlet? Rowlet. It's Rowlet. like a cat owl well, mixed together. New, these new Pokemon, like, half of them were cool and half of them were kind of stupid looking. So I'm. I don't. That's you know, man, the way every Pokemon game has been. Right. Like, yeah. like, yeah. like oh, even cool. The, even I mean, original. Well, look at, no, well, the originals were awesome. Okay, look at. The look. original 150 Pokemon all looked. Okay, so Lickitung looked good. Yeah. And Mr. Mime looked good. Yeah. And, and Jinx. Yeah. Jinx. Jinx, they, you mean Jinx got changed because it was fucking racist. What's yeah. Ekans? Because Jinx, Ekans? Is, oh, because Jinx is secretly oh, Nicki Minaj. Okay, I forgot. Like, there's a lot of Pokemon in the original Pokemon that weren't in the Dragonite looked special. derpy as fuck. You guys literally Dragon's are just awesome. nostalgic. He's a good Pokemon, but... just like that diabetes. All of, <laughs> all of you guys are just literally... The people who say the first generation are untouchable... Are just nostalgic. I'd even, yeah. I'd even yeah. no, there's a bunch of, there there's a bunch of shitty. Pokemon. Muck is stupid. He's yeah. a slime. <laughs> it's literally just a fucking ball of slime. And you know what's also the same? Ditto. Ditto is also almost identical to Muck in every way. It's but he literally can take just the, but a he can different take the, shaped ball of slime. But he can take the form. What's of, Muck you know, backwards? Come, come. <laughs> you know who's really good? You had to Nito say it, Sean. You had Nito to King say was it. badass. <laughs> I mean, Nido, Nido King and Rhydon. Rhydon was awesome. Look at Weedle and Caterpie. Weedle and Canopy, barely fucking different. Barely. One's got a needle on his head. Yeah. One is so just, they evolve very metapod. differently. Yes, they do. They're but that's what I'm it. saying. You cannot judge a game based on its beginning evolutions because the final evolutions are always what makes the Pokemon. That's true. Right. The we, starters always, all every single generation, the, the starter looks kind do of Do we dumb. know? Yeah, Squirtle. Yeah. Squirtle. Yeah. Do we know those starters? Squirtle. Those are starters or were those no, they versions? Yeah, those those seven that were leaked? No, no, no. Those are just random Pokemon. Okay, so we don't okay, know so where they're they are. Not like, they're not like early ones that you get like once you leave the first time. They're just random Pokemon. That's all gotcha. it says. Are you leaving us, Sean? Sean's Bye. leaving us. Bye Again, Bashan. Didn't even get to the topics I gave to you, motherfucker. We love you, though. Sorry. We were talking about good stuff. No, Sorry. fuck you. Sorry. Fuck you. Sean, who was your starter Pokemon? The very first one? Yeah. Charmander. Charmander. Yeah, yeah fuck get you. Out. Charmander. Get out of here. It's Squirtle. fucking Bulbasaur. It's All Squirtle. Of really? Oh, no, Squirtle's the best. Bulbasaur? Okay, so who do you pick as a grass type other than Bulbasaur? The only possible answer is Butterfree. Oddish. Grass Butterfree. type? Butterfree's not grass. Oddish? Butterfree. Oh, you know, the first final evolution of Butterfree was Grassman. Vileplume? But she wasn't grass. What about Fucking Poison for Days? No, what about uh, Victory Bell? Victory Bell was a good grass type. No, first grass it. type. If, you, if you're wondering how he took on Brock, Victory Bell was a would be like Nido King. Or Nidorino. Nidorino? Nidorino. Nidorino. Nido King is straight poison. No, he's poison and. He's poison and, and rock type, isn't he? No, he's grass ground. type, poison whatever. Ground. He's poison and ground. Poison ground. We can learn earthquake. Same difference, rock, earthquake, ground, whatever. Are you playing a match right now on my phone? Don't do that. <laughs> you playing uh, Hearthstone for him? Yes. But he just made me a deck, and I think he's testing I mean, it out. If you like, want a grass yeah. type, you go with Venusaur. And then you can always get better water types. I need to get those. <laughs> I need to say but, And you can get better fire best. types because you can get rapid ash. Yes, of course. Blastoise is my favorite Pokemon. I love Agmar. Is pretty good, actually. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, Blastoise is right on. Agmar Agmar is matching Blastoise. Blastoise. We should do that. Matching. I We're getting Blastoise. Portal tattoo. starter. Okay, good. Then, yes. But is Blastoise your all time favorite? All time favorite. Yeah, my all time, my all time Pokemon. Yes. Ever. Yes. No. That's my my, my all time. Scizor is my favorite. My all time like, favorite Pokemon. Scizor or Scizor? Or Scizor, like Scizor or whatever. No, not Scizor. 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 It's Scizor. Scizor. Whatever his name is. You don't even know. The metal fucking type thing. fucking Scyther. Scyther. evolution. Actually, I think in I think it's the way he says his name is Scizor. 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 That's kind of cool. My favorite type is Arcanine. Size or Arcanine. 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 Arcanine? No, I mean my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> my favorite, favorite Pokemon type. is Arcanine. I love the Arcanine, Arcanine type. I love the Arcanine type, yeah. No, my favorite Pokemon is Arcanine. He's my favorite. 
Jolteon all the way. Jolteon's badass. Jolteon's pretty cool. Jolteon's just good in Pokemon in general. It's either I mean it's a almost Fuck you, almost a tie between Jolteon and Zapdos. But I'm an electric type guy. Electric if type. I could have a whole all electric party, it would like without any it would weaknesses. Be like <laughs> without any Electabuzz weak. and Zapdos and Raikou and why don't you just get like an electric combo with something else? Yeah, you know, always have electric a little bit. There's there. actually well, one Pokemon well, that's out there could, that's completely immune to Electric. Yeah, he's a flying could, like, could you, electric. So you argue get hit by ground? Couldn't like, you argue the that one weakness it has? You cannot. Wow. No ground moves hit it whatsoever. Could, it doesn't have very great stats. No, it's horrible. Could, yeah, could horrible. you argue that uh, that Electabuzz is an electric yeah. fighting type? No, it's just electric. It's just electric type. Because he's like he's at, he's at the like, he's at those punching hands. You know, while well, he knows th- he's those hard thunder punching punch. hands. Punching hands. Punching hands. <laughs> it's like you're hit punch. But I mean, you got Jolteon, Pikachu, uh, Zapdos, Raikou, Electabuzz. There's some good electric God, types. I, I love Raichu. Raichu. Raichu is awesome. Yeah. I never evolved. I don't want to evolve my Pikachu. Well, in Pokemon I Yellow, evolved Pikachu. In Pokemon Are you Yellow, serious? In whatever. <laughs> what a fucking. In Pokemon nostalgia. Yellow, you couldn't evolve in past Pikachu. No, you couldn't. Yeah, you because he wouldn't let you do it. He's yeah. like, no. No, I did. I was no, like, oh, maybe. I get better stats. Brip. <laughs> Brip. <laughs> but I waited until he got to 43 and he learned Thunder. That's how nerdy on Pokemon I am. But I know what level. If we Pikachu want to talk is. about the best Pokemon ever Silver. made, Silver. No, 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 no. Not the game. The best, oh, Pokemon. The best Pokemon. It's uh, Kyogre. Hands down. Who is that? Really? He's a whale. The whale fucking whale? He's a legendary whale Pokemon. Um, Mewtwo is by far the best not fucking even book. Remotely yes, close. he is. Kyogre would own six Mewtwo's. How do you say that? Because it's HP? fucking special defense, and it's HP, and it's special attack, all of it is just That's off true. the fucking I say, Yeah, no. I could almost beat the entire I want to see a Blissey, I want to see a Blissey versus Kyogre, and Kyogre then we'll call it shit. I want to see a Blissey take him on. Blissey's nothing but defense. Like, that's yeah. all Blissey is. It doesn't have great attack stats or anything like that. Kyogre is the entire package. Yeah. He's I could good. legitimately beat the entire Elite Four with, with just, just Kyogre. This <laughs> makes sense. No like, healing, nothing. Yeah. Just one hitting everything. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What was it? His speed was the only thing it was kind of slow yeah, on, right? It was slow. That was, that was it. it. Yeah, it was just slow. But Hydro Pump, Blizzard, <clears throat> everything, Waterfall. Yeah, yeah. Is, well, who Blast Slaves is, is the best. Main water down. Pokemon Waterfall. That's a waste of the move. Actually, that's uh, TM Slaves. Or Blast Slaves. Toys. I guess. Spoiler alert, I Can guess. Is this, this is really a spoiler alert? No, no, really no, spoiler alert. has been out for a long time. Let me talk! Sorry. There's a whole different thing I want to say. Death Battle. Oh, yeah. For that. Oh, yeah, it, was it won Death Battle between the three that, original starters. Plus yeah, that was, that was a pretty good one. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I, I voted for that. I'm oh, yeah, guy. dude. I love the Blastoise. So. What is your favorite Pokemon then, Pat? My favorite Pokemon of all time. Of all time. Oh, it's really rough. You don't even know. Oh, I said like Caesar is one of my favorite. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, he did yeah. say that. Yeah. What are so, you worth? Yeah, I already said. Favorite. I already said Arcanine. Arcanine. That's right. Arcanine. Your favorite yeah. type is Arcanine. <laughs> my favorite type is Arcanine. My favorite yes. type is Arcanine. Yes. yes. Um. So Victory Bell. T- terrible, line. terrible segue here. Terrible. We like people here have played um, Titanfall and stuff and mech games. Isn't that? Have you guys ever heard of Hawken? No, well, it's five years old, so we better have heard of it's it. It's been old for a while. Yeah, it's been out for a while. I this is a new. I, I know. I know it by name. I don't. I don't really? know the game at all. I heard they about. It. I heard about this in like it was, 2012. It was bought out by a different company, and that company is the one that's bringing it to console. Is Actually, it like a Titanfallish game? I have no idea about the mechanics. So I heard about this game like five years ago. I heard about it before it even came out. Yeah. It was PC only, and at the time I was like, oh, is I'm it, never going to PC. It, now here's a bad way: is it 3D or 2D? What do you mean? No, it's like legit. It was like three D, like you're in a mech running around. But it, I, oh yeah, that's it's what I mean. Like is it a platformer, focus. like side to side? Or no, 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 oh, no, no, no. It's, it's a shooter. Yeah, yeah okay, it's a yeah. shooter. Yeah, like an well, FPS. There's, yeah. there's platforms. So what about like what what makes it like? Why is Not this really. a big deal yeah, now? Though? Well, just the fact that it's Not coming really. to console yeah. after so long. <laughs> uh-huh. I'm just interested because it's another mech game. You don't see a lot of Not mech really. games anymore. Miami. There's Titanfall, and that's kind of it. Yeah. Um, you know, you, you know what, you know what I, I wish they would do. I want them to remaster Steel Battalion for Xbox One and bring back that big fucking honk, like honking like the console controller, con- yeah. console controller with the pedals and everything. That'd be so fucking cool. Because did you guys ever play Steel Battalion? 
No, but I know of the controller. It's, ser- it's about out. the dumb connect game. No, uh, well they okay the, the, the self destruct button. It was right a re. There, click it, every it was time. a re. They, they remade the game for Kinect for some fucking reason, which is stupid because you go from having a controller that takes up like this entire table with six pedals that you have to control, uh, because you're actually like piloting a mech. That's the con- That's the mechanic of the game. To having a <laughs> just throw that anywhere. Now. Sure. To having a game on with like the uh, the Kinect game with that's no one controller one whatsoever. Yeah. I just so, always lifted up the cell, and they're like, "No, don't, don't touch it." The guy stops you. Yeah, he's like, "Don't touch that." But okay, okay. they need, if they need to make, they need to bring back that game. If they, if they made a remastered copy of that, oh god, that would be it's, more of an arcade style game. I feel well, but it was but it was such it was such a cool game for its time because it was one of, it was, it was one cool of those, idea. It was one of those games where like if you if you died, you had to restart the, you had to restart your save file. Mm-hmm. So like yeah. you had you had to know like when to eject and like get out of there and book it when you had to. Um, so you can save your character, like say, like go back and rebuild your mech or whatever. Yeah. And I think it was for its time, it was pretty revolutionary because I don't think a whole lot of games have really done that before. And, and couple that with the fact that it was super fucking immersive and like actually made know. you feel like you were playing. I've never been mech. to Disney World before because my parents didn't love me. But at the same time, I've heard that Epcot has an amazing like ride or whatever you want to call it, where you are in charge of like a space mission. Okay. Like, they literally, they cook you up, and you have all these screens in front of you, and keyboards and everything, and you can, like, you have to communicate with the game while you're actually playing it, and you're like, Vector, Vector, fucking, go there. Something, something. No, saw that. No one's listening to me, because we're I, in there. I'm oh, listening. I'm, you're listening. Some space I'm, in, I, I, Epic, I'm talking about Disney World. Cause you I guys, care about you, Pat. I haven't been to Disney World. I'm sure you, I don't know who I never, else. I, you ever been, been to Disney World? Huh? Disney World Florida? or Disneyland? Yeah. Disney yeah, World. I've been there. Disney World. I'm talking about like there's some game at Epcot that I've seen multiple times where it's like you run a space mission, like you are like the commander and they give you like the freaking microphone and everything and you have all the keys and all the screens in front of you and you kind of like you get like 15 minutes to like run a space mission. I want to try this. It looks awesome. Uh, all for the low cost of sixty dollars. Everyone should call me Shepard while I play that game. I don't think I've I don't think I played that one. Shepard. That'd be awesome. Anyway, so you guys like mech kidding. games, Hawken actually is free to play. And then you can just like microtransactions, I assume. Is Let's go. So. You guys get you, you download, so you can play with me. You download you know, Xbox right Live or Xbox One? I haven't pre installed on Xbox One, so I think Hawkins comes, comes out tomorrow? first on Xbox One. Okay. Yeah. A whole week earlier than oh, PS4. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Fuck you, Pat. Ooh. Speaking of games, Ooh. are free. What'd you say? 205 for the uh, terabyte Tomb Raider edition Xbox One? Yeah. I don't know if that deal's still going on. Pass up the fucking I literally have $205 in my life. Because you, <laughs> you, you never carry cash in you. Right? I never carry cash Yeah, I carry Xbox One. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I'm Please. sorry. But Sea of Thieves, man. I'm so, I sea want Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves. Right. I sea of Thieves. Um... I guess speaking of games that are free to play on Xbox One right now, um, currently for live or gold subscribers, you can play uh, Halo Five. Have access to the entire game for free until until July something. Until, like like I, th- I think it's for the, I think it's for Fourth of July. Care. I think. I'm just kidding. No, yeah, so, no, I'm kidding. Maybe a little bit, but Halo's really good. If people have to play Halo, you get to play yeah, it. the yeah. mechanics are really solid in Halo Five. They're fun. Until I, I watched I, you play it again. I was yeah, going to download it, fun. but then I realized I don't have enough space in my hard drive to download it right now. The AI seems really know. good in that game, for like support wise, a lot better than most shooters I've like played. It's an through. 87 gig download. So that's a lot. For yeah. have you that, seen what ESO dude, is? It's, <laughs> yeah, I was it's say. 2016. There is no download that's so big. It's like you know it's going to be huge. Just I know ESO is, know. is but that's that's pretty. Bad, that, I that, I haven't seen an Xbox One game that's that big of a that's uh, that takes a lot of space. Had a um, huge how much was Metal Gear Solid? Metal Gear Solid Five was pretty fucking big. It was like it was like at least 60. 60 but that, that's about average now for Xbox One or PS4 or whatever. So but like I was like eighty seven gigs. Jesus. Like well, if you include all the DLC and yeah. shit, that's yeah. then yeah, oh, that's gonna be exactly huge because it's a fucking massive, massive download. But. I don't know. I just thought 87 gigs was really, really high. Did you guys it's know? It's a large game, but I mean, that's nothing new for this generation of gaming. I'm so tired of people saying games are so big down. It's like, yeah. No, it's, yeah. It's well, I, ex- I expect it now. Up. No, it's understandable. Yeah. I expect We're it now. We're in the digital but, age. Yeah. <laughs> go, go, <laughs> go, 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 go fuck yourself. Huh? By the way, we'll see if people are paying attention on the podcast. Did you guys know that 1010 is the best character in Naruto? God damn you, fucking <laughs> pass. There's, there's hey. 1010? I don't know if... Bring Andrew back to the podcast. I don't know if uh, uh, Disco that. is listening, but... He's immersed in real girls. Huh? Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> 
What about uh, what about Bioshock uh, HD remakes? That'd be cool. There are no. a lot of HD remakes. No, that's not that's not that'd be cool. That's actually here. Oh, it's officially released. It's happening. It's Out happening. In September. One, two, and infinite. Uh, I still want Crash Bandicoot more though. Uh, get out of here. I'm yeah. sorry. Are you I feel serious? Like I had something to no. say earlier. And I, I don't remember what it was. Because you're on your oh, phone. You're, whatever you're <laughs> doing. I was, I was reading it's something. Son of a bitch. Well, um, but Bioshock. Play all of them. All of them are great. I've only actually. Two is a, it's not obviously. Not I played cool. halfway through the first one and played like a little bit of the second one. That's you it. never beat the first. I never one? beat the first one. Oh my what god! What in dude. the holy fuck? <laughs> so and could, fucking... depending on you know how much I love lore and in, the in lore terms, in that game yeah. is fucking sweet. In terms sweet. of first person shooters, it has the best story of any FPS yeah. I've ever played. Yeah. And it portrays like the way it makes you. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, Christ, Disco! Christ, dude, Damn. we took those away from you for a reason. God. <laughs> I. Anyways, <laughs> yes, the best, like, the story looks, like I guess I played, I know you went underwater, and you kind of well, did the beginning and there's no shit. real cutscenes, it takes you from one place to another, all, like, in-game. So it keeps you immersed the shit. entire time, and you see things, and you, you know, you witness these events happen, and then it's always you that they happen to. Mm-hmm. It's not the cutscene that you watch everything, you see your character out Would you kindly? I already so. know that, so sorry. Would you I, bitch, I, know. I already know. I already know. Would you, Who, kindly? you kindly blew my fucking... It's a 10-year-old game. Fuck would, you, yeah. would you kindly just bash would, my fucking face in? Would you kindly like, think blew my mind? Yeah. 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 I love that. Yeah, that's awesome. But the gameplay itself, I love the lore. But, and that's the one thing I like about that game, too, is I love when even first-person shooter styles, not even just platformers, just first-person shooters that are in the story, all the little recordings you can get, mm-hmm. and like that. Yeah. That's what I get digged on. Because I'm the type of guy that sits there. I don't care if I was doing a Let's Play. Like I'm going to click that, and I'm going to listen to that whole very fucking... Quiet. Uh, I'm going to read that. Quiet. I don't care. No, I don't care. Like, everybody shut the fuck up. Actually, this is they have a book that is based in the um, Bioshock universe. Mm. And the book, it takes place from multiple perspectives. And all the people that are in it are people from those audio logs. It's, oh, that's cool. Well, it, it's before Rapture was completed, and it shows what they were doing throughout the course of... Uh, Try to the get construction of Rapture. Yeah, and, yeah. I uh, I don't remember what it was called exactly, um, but it was really really good. If you can find the Bioshock book, read that if you're a fan of the universe of Bioshock. It was really interesting. It's a good like universe in general. You oh yeah, it. yeah. It's, Almost has I hate to bring it up like a Fallout ish feel, but in an opposite way where it's like it's still it that really, old. Uh, it kind of yeah, like old I, would, I would say that, but that. obviously not. You know. Nuclear war, post-apocalyptic shenanigans, but it's, it's more like, like a dystopian society, kind of. Yeah. yeah, it's which is, I mean, you you can, I guess one yet. I guess your mother's a dystopian. Well, you made a horrible deck for me then. I used to win with that right? like warlock deck. Civil War all the time. Win, Drew, be better. It's not standard anymore, so I had to make it standard. Oh, yeah. But no, I guess you, I guess you could argue that Fallout does have some kind of dystopian elements in the game. Well, there's always, no, although always yeah. be that way. Yeah. I didn't want. Well, to Well, it has like the no government, um, free market. This is the only way, you know, Bobby Castro. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so many it, it's a really, There's yeah. no laws. Bioshock. Did you guys hear about that guy that quickly. handed or sent Bethesda, like, I think it was over, like, 2,000 bottle caps? Something. And they sent him a free copy and from Well, they yeah. gave him a, co- a free collector's edition. Oh, my God. They gave him a collector's edition. <laughs> they're, like, out for. they're like, this guy's a true fan. Give him a game. But, yeah, that was that was a cool story. Good job, Bethesda. Good guy, Bethesda. That's always Bethesda's great. Yeah, Josh Sky, is Ram here. remastered. Oh, jo- Josh, why do you gotta say those things to me? Because you've been waiting for it. You're still gonna wait for it. Shut up! Uh, Stop it! It looks good. October, November, I can't remember now. It's, it's probably November. November. Uh, good. You got a birthday gift you can give me. Yeah, yeah. yeah I can get that for you. For PS4. Eight. No, you gotta, I'm getting it for Xbox. <laughs> and if you don't have an Xbox by then, you just can't. Play see it, see if these will be out by then. <laughs> That'd be the dick. Maybe I don't know. The Thieves is next year. Thieves Thieves. 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 I love Thieves. Thieves. I was thinking of so many games at once. Thief, Thief. See it love, right? Dre, you excited for the Thief, Thief? Dude, I'm so pumped for that game. Thieves. Thieves makes sense, right? You get it. You get it. Thieves. Oh my god. Thieves. 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 Um, but yeah, what about Josh not being here? We're Thieves. just we're gonna talk about a uh, Batman, uh, being delayed. Good. Good. Uh, game. They they need to. No, yeah. no, 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 fuck no, not fuck those games. Those games, are good. those games are good. I know. Those games are great. He's no. gonna come back and kill us all. Do you remember totally how bad? Do you remember how combat. bad the PC release was? Oh god, for Arkham Knight. Oh. Like we talked about it on the podcast. We did. It was, it was a broken. It's atrocious. It was so bad. It came out so broke. I played it on PS4. 
I beat that game, and I bought it like two weeks after the game came out, and I'm still beating people that had not even finished it on PC yet because they couldn't get past all the bugs and glitches. The, no, stupid. Well, Steam issued like so many refunds for that. Well, it's interesting it's, to see that they do like a remaster. Yeah, but it's it, it, but even the remaster is getting delayed. I mean, but good, I guess. So well, the weird thing is that they said they have no like release window. They're like uh, either it's so fucked they literally don't know what they're gonna do or. They just don't know how much. Work well, at least be. at least yeah. they're not doing what what Dan Buster did with Homefront and like, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> add, we're gonna we're gonna push back the game an entire fucking year and not do anything for that entire year and then just release you a broken pile of shit. I so, that. I mean, don't I mean if you're gonna do that, just don't give us any anticipation for a release. Just work on it, do what you gotta do. Do what they did with Last Guardian. They worked on that game for fucking a decade and now it's finally at a release date. They just kind of. Didn't get people's hopes up. They just had them, like they know it's coming. They just don't know when. God damn it, Pat. Pat. Pat Pat's Pat's a. Sean makes funny signs for us sometimes, and Pat yes. is funny with it. So. Uh, Pat wants to have sex with himself. I'm trying to figure out. This. Do you love yourself that much? Are you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anybody else have any news? Anything going on in the gaming world? <laughs> I mean, uh, we can kind of uh, talk no, I, about oh. uh, Left 4 Dead 3 being You did hear something about it. Yeah, Left 4 Dead 3 yeah. semi-confirmed? How, how bad of a deck did you just create? Or pseudo-confirmed, I guess? It was fire. essentially today, uh, I brought this up before the podcast. Um, some guy at work came up to me today and was talking to me. He said uh, he found a video a sort of confirming Left 4 Dead 3. By what about, sort of? 40%? Well, essentially it was that the... 28% from what it looked like to me. Uh, shut up. <laughs> the uh, developers were testing something on the Left 4 Dead servers very frequently, and it had been updated multiple times recently. Okay. So they think that that has to do with a Left 4 Dead 3, because it doesn't make much sense to make all these changes to a 5-plus-year-old game. So yeah, well, and I, I, I was distracted. Unless but you said something, but wasn't there like a folder or something that he had like left for dead, left for dead three files or something in? Did you say that? It was kind of like that. Oh. I mean, it was it was updated versions of Left for Dead two on Left for Dead servers. Um, so it was essentially hinting towards the fact that they were working on Left for Dead three, but still kind of keeping it secret. So we could see a Left for Dead three soon. That would nice. be cool. Would that be the Firth? I, the Firth. I can't, I can't talk tonight. I can't talk. Thea Thief Firth. That would be the first Valve game that these was the these. third game in the series, except for like the episodes for Half Life. Well, you you, I, you don't want you don't you don't really want to count this as like actual like sequential trilogy. Well, games, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. that'd yeah. be the first game that they released. The third game. The of third the installment series. of the yeah. game of the story. Yeah. But I mean, does Left 4 Dead really have a story though? Like it's. Ish. It's kind of, kind of, kinda, it, yeah. but like, there's no character. There's no there, like, there's character. no story mode in that game or anything like it's that. It's just run around and shoot zombies. I mean, which is fun, but there's there's a point A and a point B. There's a point A and a point B, yeah. but you just gotta survive. But don't I mean, fuck with witches. As far as like story, I don't really think it's a really story driven game. It's just kind of just run around and shoot zombies and survive. Yeah, which is fun. I like those games, but I wouldn't send as much to add to the story of Left 4 Dead. I agree. And everybody's on their phones. I'm not I'm listening phone. to you, but I have nothing you can contribute to. <laughs> Those games were not bad, but I just never got into them in any real capacity. They were just fun multi. I mean, they were fun to play at parties and stuff. Well, and like that that. Single had... player was kind of like holy so, shit. Well, so, Single player was kind of boring, I guess. That's a game you get to play with friends. Yeah. Well, was, was, that game was one of the first games that I remember that had like a real true four player like uh, designated co op, like couch co op. For like, not a lot of games were doing the four player co op that I remember before. Well, it kind of had that wave like zombie wave kind of, kind of status. But you progressed through a mission. It wasn't like Gears of War where you sit in one spot and hold yeah. that spot. In or zombies, you would go through or zombies level, yeah. like Nazi zombies, like well, whatever. I mean, yeah. that's a horde mode. So horde is that, yeah. yeah. There was a level in number two I remember that was hard where it was like you came into a dock and you went all the way to point B. That's the very first mission, I think. No, no, no. Yeah, it's number two. Yeah, no, Not no. The first it, one is number two. Exactly. I'm talking about the first one, the second one. You go land on a dock and they're like, "Hey, the weather's gonna get bad soon. You guys need to get over and grab spot." And you go in and you take on your first like mini boss fight. And on your way back, 
like the weather gets bad and it's really foggy and you can't see where the fuck you are and it's raining and everything and it's just shit gets so intense and you have to go through that damn windmill that's just full of witches like mm. literally there's like depending on your difficulty there's like three witches in easy mode and then there's like 20 witches in fucking insane mode and you're like okay nobody look at them turn your flashlights fucking off and let's just get through this bitch as fast as we can when you just go up and you shotgun them right in the fucking No, they head. don't die that easy in that they game. They do. They do not if, die. If you do, one shot with If a you shotgun have to aim perfectly in the head. In the head, exactly. But guess what happens when you shoot the first one? <laughs> like all eight of them come and just you. rip you apart. And you have the instant ability to almost And when they get you. close, you shotgun them in the face. Yeah, if you're okay. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying, uh, that'd be good. It's it's not that easy. The witches, witches are terrifying. Not, and they you make it sound so easy. The witches are controllable. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I am sure about it. I used to kill them all the time. Oh my God. One shot to the head. <laughs> Dead. Thanks for the sound effects. Logan, you said you had some that news. It does sound like a shotgun. Bit. It was the Elite Controller. Oh, okay. The, the one millionth fucking controller sold. The one millionth controller? That's a lot of controllers. It's an absurd amount. It's for 150 bucks, especially. Yeah. So. I, I like, can't think of anything else that's been going on in gaming, really. I mean, $150 million. Yeah. It's a lot of money. Really, for yeah, controllers. Money. Just for controllers. Well, so especially just for a uh, fucking like an accessory. hardware. An yeah. accessory. That I'm sure they're still selling. That people are, are, are still interested in them. They haven't dropped the price or anything, so. As long as people are buying, they're not going to oh, yeah. They're not gonna drop yeah. the price on it. And with the S model coming out, more people are probably going to get Xbox, so that maybe we're waiting for something like this. Like, I know people... Throughout, you know, any gaming generation, whether it's PlayStation, Xbox, whatever, people wait for the Slims. Yeah. And so when the, the Slim I, I never, I never out, did buy a people Slim. People get it. Or, I, I know people that specifically wait for that model, and then they jump on the next generation. I never, I never did buy a Slim anything. Like yeah. I, I still, I still have my original Fat Boy 360 that I bought back in 2007. <laughs> like, and I PS1. never once have ever had a red ring or had a problem with anything. Well, that's good. I bought yes. the PS One. The PS One Slim. Well, like, no, the PS One. It's PlayStation. The PS1, PS One was like the white smaller. The, the small one. Okay. Yeah. And I also bought the portable Super Nintendo. Does a portable Super Nintendo? It's like they called it portable, but it was just smaller. So it was it was like the Sega Nomad kind of equivalent. You know what I'm talking about? No. The Sega was, Nomad was basically the portable Genesis. No, I, they called it portable. Oh. It was literally just a smaller Super Nintendo. Gotcha. Oh wait 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 yeah no I I do know what you're talking about I did see those things they're they're like tiny like tiny tiny so I've never no, heard it's it's not that much different than a regular Super Nintendo really like you're you're misunderstanding it's just like okay so you have the regular Super Nintendo and then you have the portable Super Nintendo like I think you know there was a Sega Genesis that had a headphone jack built into the system with a volume control that on was the, the console. The original Sega, wasn't it? Drew? I thought it was the other. Yeah, it was the, no, 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 no. That, that had the what? That the, had like the volume the, control and the head. The first, jack the first version the Genesis. Gen Genesis, Genesis one had volume control and headphones. So yeah. they re like they redid the Genesis. Sega later Genesis, the one that away. you're talking about, that's like the most common one. That's like the Genesis three. Genesis one is oh, the rectangle. You have headphone control and you also have volume. I have one of those. Uh, Genesis two, they shifted into a square. Like it was a lot smaller. Weird. Yes. And I have the original Genesis right now. I didn't yeah. really, I thought I had a newer version. I yeah, they say. those ones had Weird. a headphone jack. And huh. the volume control. Yeah, that's what I had. The Genesis three is the one that most people had. Yeah, I had that growing up. Like what, second, third? Grade, Not whatever. that I've seen. I have the old school. No. Or is it Genesis one. two? I see a lot of people with Genesis twos and ones. I don't see a lot of people with threes. Isn't the three the small one? Small three is the very very small one. It's about mm, probably about this size. Yeah, you're probably you're probably thinking like the Genesis six inches. Oh, the Genesis like two. The, the Genesis, Genesis two. Small. So oh. then the Genesis two is the one that was most common. Yeah, okay. I had the Genesis two growing up. Now I have the one apparently. Yeah. Huh. yeah, I always assumed that was the newest model. No, that was that was the first generation. Surprisingly, of it. yes, it was the first generation. Huh. Well, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, before that was the Master System, like the that was like, I think that was the first console Sega came out with. It was. It wasn't. It wasn't much. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it was just. Yeah. <laughs> It was just like their answer to the NES, basically. That was the very first system they came out with. But I am. Um, I've yeah. I've never 
upgrade, I used to want to call it, to a slim model. I've only ever bought a console after the generation it released to get a special edition version. Right. Like, I unfortunately, have the, I have the Halo Reach 360, which... It sucks. looks cool. It looks fucking awesome. I love the way it looks. Worst shooter I've basically ever played. But uh, then I yeah, jumped from the Xbox One to the Halo 5 versions. But they, but companies now are always coming out with, like, quote-unquote limited edition consoles. Like, they, they had one for Final Fantasy 13 when it came out. They had one I mean, with, they like, are technically limited edition. And they should do that, because people go fucking crazy for them. Right, it makes money. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But when but when you ma- but when you like put out so many limited edition consoles like so so frequently, like doesn't that kind of like kind of kill it? In my me? experience, people love it. No, I, nobody has a negative reaction to that. I don't know of anybody it's, who's ever said limited edition ones were a bad. Thing. It's, it's not. Like, it's not that I'm not saying that it's a bad idea, but like I, I think like I think that these companies are putting out lim- quote unquote limited edition consoles like too frequently. Like every time there's a major AAA title, nope. it seems like there's there's some they, type of bundle that goes along. I think that's a good thing. They, that, yeah, I've never heard of one. I mean, you know it's how a many... way to get somebody who is excited about a certain game on a new console to buy a new console. Yeah. Also, how many fuckers out there are like, oh, I have the old you know, Call of Duty 3 Xbox, okay. but the Call of Duty 4 one? Let's, let's, let's go play. ahead and just There's talk. guys that will go and trade in their console. I did not need to buy to the Halo 5 one, but it looks so fucking cool. That's what I'm saying. Cool did you see the... Wait, wait, wait. I'm not dissing on it, but you know what I mean. Speaking of that... They came that. out with a Xenogears one, even though that's a 1998 <laughs> fucking game. They came out with a Xenogears You have Xenogears They came out with a Xenogears fucking PS4. I would drop and fucking throw that thing in a hot second and go and get that. Do you guys remember Nintendo 64? They yeah. changed all the colors. They everything. changed yeah. the colors on the console. Did you like, get the green one? Every other month. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like I, I, To this day, I still want to get the limited edition neon orange Nintendo Oh, 64. yeah, they did make one of those. But it's like... The cheapest you can ever find it is like $100. I want the gold Legend of Zelda 3 or two or the 3DS. That thing was awesome looking. Sweet. I've seen that one. The black and gold. The cheapest I've ever there seen. There was a was black and gold, bucks. and there was a straight up gold. Jesus, that's one. not that bad, Dan. That looked awesome. For a Nintendo the black 64, and gold. you can get a regular gray Nintendo 64 for like $8. I know you can. But so you buy, you're money. talking 10 times the price to get the orange one. But it's a limited edition. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they, all, they have tons of them. Like, they have the Pikachu one. Which yeah. The Pikachu one is super rare. Yeah. It's bigger, too, because they have to add, yeah, like, they they have add, to add the extra space. They have a Star for the Fox Pikachu. one, too. No, they didn't they make a Star Wars one. They, but they have all sorts of colors. I mean, they had the dark green one. They had the light, uh, the see-through green, the see-through purple. You had a green original Xbox that was Halo Two. No, no original Halo. Was it original? Okay, okay. Yeah, they came out with original Halo CE limited edition Xbox. That was I pretty sweet. Actually, that, that was cool. Um, speaking really of speaking cool. of speaking limited edition consoles, did you see that uh, Sean posted that in the group? Did you see the Game of Thrones Xbox One they released? Well, I thought that was pretty fucking cool, actually. I don't know why you guys were all like the the, the I, on top look weird. I didn't really have an opinion on it. I just like, looked like you. I just, it's awesome. <laughs> it it looks. I mean, it's not like it's. I don't know if I would go out of my way to get it. It definitely looks cool, but did you see that? I didn't look at it. Is it made out of Valerian steel? Yes. Yeah. No. Well, no, like, quiet. here's the here's the thing. Like, you know, you know the big like spinny like globe thing that's in the that's in the title sequence. Mm-hmm. Like, they added those those bars, like those like little handles to the console. So it's like, it looks all you know Game of Thronesy with like special like mold molded plastic on the console. And then it's got those it's got like the sun and the bars that go around it. Mm-hmm. So, if you want a Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, I guess. Game of Thrones. Like, a uh, themed console. It should be the Iron Fucking Throne. Fucking... That'd be... Yeah. That would be cool. cool. It should yeah. just be <laughs> Look, a, it's miniature, like a miniature Iron Throne that you can put Xbox discs in. Life-size is what I want. <laughs> just just <laughs> <sit> <laughs> on it while you play the Xbox. <laughs> yes. Why Please. is my ass so hot? Let's do that. The most uncomfortable chair to sit in ever, but the most badass chair to sit in. You know in the books they talk regularly about how, how uncomfortable. often people get cut in the Iron Throne? Because it's know. real swords, like right. they're old swords that they formed into a throne, and like that dragons uh, melted. I think it, they talked about them how the Mad King cut himself all the time on the throne. Yeah, burn them all anyway. And I think Joffrey cut himself a few times on it as well. Good, Joffrey deserves it because he's, he's a, a fucking bitch. Bitch. Anyway. This is Game but, of Thrones podcast, by the way. Welcome to Game of Thrones podcast. <laughs> oh, we should do a Game of Thrones podcast. We no, we need to do a Mass Effect podcast Worth first. Is not allowed. Yeah, we do. I'm <laughs> close. I have HBO now. Now, see what now, I did there? Now, now, now. So but, here's the. 
So you see, like, the, the way that the top of it has, like, those, like, kind of spinny bars or whatever. Like, arches that like, go over the... Over I the would floor. not buy that. Wiener, okay. wiener, wiener. I'm not saying I would buy it. I'm just saying for a Thrones-themed thing. I think that the cool. bars part is cool. I think the console itself looks ugly. It's a, it's a little, like... To that college... In your face, a little bit black. It's a little tacky, right? It's a little tacky. <laughs> I'd fucking bite. You guys are all wrong. <laughs> you guys are I'm, the, I'm, with, you, I'm with you that the bar yeah. part like, you, like you either buy, cool. you either buy the console like the or you're wrong and then Archer gif you know because <laughs> <Whoa. Yeah. laughs> um, danger zone but uh yeah I don't think uh, I don't really think I have any, have any more news to talk about unless we have some closing topics we yeah. want to touch on did you just win Hearthstone no got your phone you've been losing all night Hearthstone Hearthstone I, I don't want a match for you uh, did you? Yay I did want to talk about there was a uh, there was kind of a fiasco that happened with, with? Uh, with a uh, with a brand new Steam game that's been coming out. Okay. Uh, it's this game called Orion, and basically it was a uh, this new sci-fi indie shooter. Activision made a claim on this company saying that they have likeness rights to one of the guns that they made from Call of Duty Black Ops Three, okay. and it looks virtually the same. And this company has been kind of. They've infringed upon the rights. Right. Like, bottom line, they've infringed upon the rights. And so they've been, like, pleading to the mass communities of Reddit and and PC Master Race saying, oh, this is injustice to what Activision actually did, and and we should have the rights to our own game, and blah, blah, blah. And this isn't the first time this company has been in jeopardy in terms of stealing ideas. Right. Um, but... It, but is a gun design really something that is even legally allowed? To well, yeah, because yeah, Steam because, actually took the game off. Because because uh, okay, it but is, I mean, I mean, in terms of law, if you have like, a gun that looks the same, it is, it is, it is, it is an same. IP. How many pistols look the fucking? It's, it's <laughs> that would mean that you would have to in you would have to have actually copyrighted the gun. But it's it's well, a fi- it's a fictional it's a fictional wasn't it piece a real of gun? art. Wasn't it a real gun? No, it's a fictional piece of art because none of the guns in Black Ops Three actually exist. If uh, that's the case, then maybe yeah, they have something. But if it's like an M16, those are real guns. Yeah, yeah but what I'm so. saying is, is you would have had to actually have gone in and copyrighted the gun for that to be a legal argument. But if they're that's part of the bigger game, that's but if they're caught, co- but if all yeah, but it's such a tiny portion of the game. But, but if, if so, you love creative money. property. People love money. But if Treyarch, and but they if cover the whole entire game and everything that it contains, yeah. But you that. could cop that. That's just ridiculous because I could put a cup that looks like the same cup in a different game. And but if they have, if they named oh, red solo cups in there. Yeah. <laughs> but if they've named a gun and that's their original design that no one's ever done before, wouldn't that because be it's an original, it's an original piece of artwork. I'm just thinking it's an original Treyarch. gun. Like if you have like the Halo plasma pistol, no other game has had a plasma pistol. And if anybody else made it in the future, because it's an original idea, but yeah, so well, like yeah, the Omni Blade. Omni. I don't know why. Oh, Halo, or Mass Effect, oh, yeah. Omni Blade. My question is: Is what? why Omni Blade? Blade. Look, I'm hitting him. Why would Activision Omni Blade. even throw mm. a fit over something like that to begin with? It's a fucking gun. Because, because that's money that they're losing out on. Okay, just in terms yeah. of you being an FPS. <laughs> how is that? How are they losing Omni money by this company anymore. using a gun that looks similar? It's just it's their property. They it's, filed the DMCA claim. Is it petty? Yes. Yes. It's, it's, it's because <laughs> it's extremely petty on it Activision's part. It's literally part, but... as petty as it as yeah. you can g- get. Yeah. Because it's a fucking gun. It's extremely petty, but like at, at the end of the day, you know, copyright laws are copyright laws. I'm just and saying this is literally just Activision being the dickheads that they are. I know. Uh, I know. I, I agree with you, but the dickheads they are. I'm not. I'm not saying it's right that they did that, but it's. It is the law. Worth already so. got us fucking sued on Dragon Ball Z tonight. So I did matter. not. It's literally saying, like, it's a, it, you know, this company may not even have intentionally done it. Yeah. We don't, but we don't know that. We, I mean, you don't know that. If yeah. they did, then, all right, whatever. But if they didn't, and they're getting fucked over this, like, that's just saying, ah, we're the big company and you're the little company. It's Fuck like, you. It has a blue light instead of a red light. Or there's Vanilla Ice once said it. It's... Din 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 din, not din din dun din din din. <laughs> he has a good point, Pat. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. What I'm talking about. Yeah, but uh, yeah. I mean, I get, there's 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 arguments on both sides of the issue. So there always will be. Yeah, there always there's always gonna be. Like obviously, Activision's like law is the law. Give us our money. Little guys are like, 
fuck you, this is a coincidence. Are there any Com- images, potentially. Drew? Have they shown any I can comparisons? Look, I can look yeah. for them. You can, yeah. yeah. Because I'm well, curious yeah. if, it, like, if it's, like, totally off. You know, we can post, like, we, you know what we'll do? You know what we'll do? We'll, uh, we'll post that on Instagram later. And so give everyone else, have everyone else give their opinions on it. It'd be so. fucking funny if one was, like, a plasticist from Halo, one's, like, some random-ass, like, M16 something. <laughs> like, you're <laughs> nothing the same, you assholes. But, yeah, so, oh, um... Funny. Post that. We'll post it to the Instagram. Instagram and Facebook. And you guys, if you guys aren't following us on social media, <laughs> what are you doing? Because we have lots of lots of stuff you can be checking up on us. <laughs> That's <laughs> nine. That's nine. That's just, that goes, okay, I said we we'll post it to the Instagram on Tuesday. <laughs> on Tuesday. On <laughs> Tuesday. Because the podcast doesn't come out on Monday. <laughs> sorry, sure, right. Not a single person is going to hear this conversation. I've seen them like so they'd be like, "The fuck is this? I don't care." <laughs> I got gotcha. it. Not that anybody I can, listens I can tell. to our podcast. Wait, anyway. he was so nonchalant when he said it. I was just like, yeah. yeah <laughs> Jake, let us know what you think, right? Our one, our one fan. <laughs> Jake Boone, we love you, buddy. <laughs> we'll throw you. But on. yeah, so as always, you know, follow us on social media: Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and now Snapchat too. Even though we're not as active on Snapchat as we should be, but yeah, we need more followers. We'll, we'll get we'll get there. Um, we're recording somewhat regularly. We oh yeah, find, yeah, yeah. We need editing machines, is the thing. So Shh, they don't know that, right? They don't know that. Uh, this is Patrick talking. I am going very hardcore coming up with an. That's two. That's two. That's pretty. That's good actually for pretty. One. That's oh, actually yeah, pretty good. Yeah, yeah. You're, you've done well. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I am going after this month, and we get bills and everything paid. I am going. To get a capture card, and I really want to start my segment up. Rent's due tomorrow, so we got to pay that. Up. I know. <laughs> yes. You're late on the child support. But no, I seriously want to start. I have a couple like people I want to like. Even I would do multiple segments with different people and everything like that, or if people want to bring in from the podcast. You know, different games they want to do. I'm going to do mainly PS3. I'm so down. It's PS1 games that I'm, I want you to play, but it, they just happen to be on my PS3. So, yeah, solid. Yep, I have that one on there, too. Actually, I was going to make uh, Logan play uh, Crash Bandicoot. Please yeah, do. Those are my first yeah, ones. Yeah. I just wanted to see. Like, I played how... the first level of Crash Bandicoot like a thousand times when I was younger. Yeah. My cousin had it so the toy. Josh is going to be my favorite one, but that's going to be a really long game because I really want him to play uh, Xeno Gears, like hardcore. It's three, three, it's a three. Uh, <laughs> just because it's really, it's literally my favorite game, and it's Square Enix. Same guys who make Final Fantasy and everything like that. So, how would you, you describe it? You don't say. What? Do you know years? Yeah. It's hardcore. <laughs> Four. So, uh, is that baiting? Yeah. It's it's yeah, just I, I mean it's I I've said it multiple. It's the storyline is by far my favorite storyline in any video game ever created, and the battle system is extremely unique. And you play it once a year. Yeah, I do play it once a year. I did post that on Facebook. Yep. I started my new game. I'm ready to go. Cool. Well, I it's mean, not as hard as it used to be because I because know you know what to do it. now. No, you can still get fucked over. It's R. It's RPG, man. Sometimes you get weird RNG. R and R- R- Jesus. Yep, R and Jesus. Every once in a while, it hits you, and you're like, "Why oh. would you do that attack twice in a row?" Fuck. <laughs> and, you get, and that's back in the uh, old school days where if you die, it's not just. Auto save, go back to that exact moment. You have to actually remember to go and fight, go through this cave again, do that shit, and hopefully not lose too much HP before I get to the boss. We're just gaming is terrible. It's It's amazing. We're just lazy and playing Shinobi, and every time I beat that boss, having to fucking God, I remember start the whole level. Go back to what was it? (laughs) Go back to podcast. Was it like thirty? Like you talked about that. Drew Peterson's was, quote, yeah. play Ninja Gaiden and never see your controller again. <laughs> How about just never play video games ever again? <laughs> because you should just give up at life because there's... This is Ninja Gaiden. Because you're just not going to beat it. You're yeah. just not. Ninja Gaiden 2. Fuck you, motherfucker. No, all the Ninja That's basically Gaiden. <laughs> They're all purposely very hard. But anyway. I know. But uh, I think that's going to wrap up episode 35. Number 35. Best number. Best number. Best podcast. Is it, though? 17 away from the year. good stuff. Yeah, we're get we are coming up on Jesus a year. Jesus Christ! Yeah, we wow. we're, we got we, we, we need to we need to plan something cool for the annual like the anniversary podcast. Maybe, we'll, maybe we'll release a gameplay video that we've done. Okay. No, we should have like twenty podcasts ago. <laughs> Jesus, I'll get I'll oh, get a game. This is slow going. I'll get yeah, a, I'll get a game. Hey man, we're, 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 we're backlogging. E three should we'll be coming up. How close we'll do, uh, E three? We'll do drinking quest. 
for the drinking quest. We should. They are shipping that games. to me finally. Oh, drinking yeah. quest? Oh, the game that you got? Yes. I, w- I want to play Million Dollars Butt on the podcast. I should have done that Kickstarter. I yeah. don't know why. I, I just forgot that they were. Fuck! Doing I, I I would just be fine with playing like we're playing yes. Cards Against Humanity. <laughs> totally yeah. yeah, no, we should find Million Dollars Butt. Yeah, play that. fun night. Yeah. We are legitimately going to have drinking quests soon. So. Yeah, yep. good. I'm good. excited for that. A tabletop RPG wow. drinking game. We need to get some cameras and get all of us together and do like fibbage or whatever the fuck those. That'd are. be fun. Yeah, yeah. Those yeah. Too. Those are, I have that whole Jackbox. Pack. With us like screaming at each one. other and physically like well, grabbing each other. That'd be you weren't there that night, but we were having a good time when we were playing. Wait, there was like seven of you out here. It was ridiculous. Yes. I have the new one. Wait, what is it? It's the Jackbox it's... games. Like you don't know Jack and fibbage and everything. Have you not played those? I played You Don't Know Jack, but you, I don't... You play like on your phone kind of thing, where you sit there and there's like questions on a TV, then you put it in your phone what you think the answer is, but you can write them in. Uh-huh. So you write in like some ridiculous, stupid shit, or you try to be clever and like trick people, because then you vote on what you think is the right answer. Right. So. Okay. Cool. That's, yeah, that does sound pretty fun. But uh, wrap this up. This is Nate. Patrick. This oh. guy. We're, we're going backwards. I'm loving Yeah. All right. And I'm Drew. And Sean left. Fuck him. Sean left. He, oh, he, he always leaves. Gone. He. When was the last time he sat through an entire podcast? He's. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's been he a while. Last he just too. shut up. So. <laughs> All right, guys. That wraps up 35. Thanks for listening. Thanks Bye. for listening. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.